Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Eva Venes of Pain Free for Life Pilates located in San Diego, California. I am a Pilates and Corrective Exercise Specialist and in today's video I'm going to show you a 10 minute Pilates routine to help you ease your sciatica and lower back pain. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly content on how to eliminate chronic pain without the use of drugs and surgeries and how to improve your strength, flexibility and mobility. Um, let's get started. First exercise is we are going to do a bridge. So just lay down on your side, organize your shoulders and your hips, feet are hip distance apart. Take an inhale. On your exhale, tuck your pelvis under, articulate your spine and roll up into a bridge. Be sure not to overarch the lower back. Pull your abdomen in, neutral spine position. Roll your spine down. And rest the hips on your mat. Take an inhale. On your exhale, repeat the movement. Tuck your pelvis under. And roll up. Try and mobilize every vertebral segment in your spine. Take a deep inhale on the top. On your exhale, roll down, mobilizing the mid back, the low back, and finally touch your sacrum down. Let's repeat again. Take an inhale. On your exhalation, press your feet into your mat, curl your tailbone under, take your time rolling up. So every little segment of your spine is moving. Don't let your knees flat out, press your shoulders down, articulate the spine, roll down, let's do this twice more, take a breath, as you exhale, curl under the tailbone, feel your navel sink in, feel your pubic bone pull up towards the navel, roll up to the point where your floating ribs are flush with your hips, do not let them flat, Inhale, on your exhale, mobilizing the segments of the spine, roll down, and let's do one more repetition, uh, roll the spine up. Now, as you roll down, I want you to stop right before your hips touch your mat. Holding a neutral spine, so no longer tuck the pelvis, instead of rotate it forward and untuck it. Sway your hips side to side. This will help mobilize your spine into the frontal plane movement. Let the hips sway as far up to the side as you can. Then stop in the center, rotate the hips under, roll up again. This time, twist your hips towards the right. Now, roll down on the right side of your back. And then square off your hips, tuck the pelvis under again, roll up, rotate the hips towards the left, roll down on the left side of your back. And then square off your hips on your mat, tuck under again, roll up, let's repeat this again, twist the hips to the right, roll down on the right side of the back, square off the hips, Tuck under, roll up, twist to the left, roll down on the left side of the back, and square off your hips. Now cross your right foot over your left knee and hold on to the back of your left leg. This is to stretch the piriformis muscle, the deep hip rotator muscle in your buttocks where your sciatica pain is. Hold on, place your hand on your right knee, push it away from your body, open up not only the back but the front of the hip as well. And let's hold this stretch for about 30 seconds before we switch to the other side. Try and take nice deep inhales and exhales and be sure your lower back is not over arching, over extending. Let's change the legs. Left foot crosses over the right knee. Hold on to the back of the right leg. 
with your left hand push your left knee a little bit out of the way and try and open up the hip as you're holding the stretch and gently pushing on the knee a little bit more and more as your muscles are opening up and let's hold it for another 10 seconds and you can let it go put your feet down on your mat and gently sway your knees side to side enjoy the stretch that you feel in your lower back and in the side of your hips let's do this one more time on each side sway to the right and sway to the left help yourself up let's continue on the knees sit back on your heels take a deep inhale on your exhale tuck your pelvis under hollow out your abdomen and rise up on your knees push your hips back open up the hips a little bit take an inhale on your exhale tuck your tailbone under and roll up all the way until your body forms a straight line flex the hips push back curl under the tailbone roll all the way up let's repeat this three more times as you tuck your pelvis under pull in the navel as deeply as you can and this way you're strengthening your pelvic floor your deep lumbar stabilizers your deep abdominal muscles all the muscles that make up your core and let's go one more time one more repetition And from here place your hands down on the mat hands under the shoulders knees under the hips find a neutral spine position meaning that your lower back has a slight little curve not too much or not too little and just a straight spine with a slight little divot in the lower back take a breath in as you exhale tighten your abdominal muscles and extend your right leg out as you do this be sure to keep the lower back stable now extend the opposite arm out and reach far through the hand and through the foot while you're keeping your abdomen engaged and put them down inhale on your exhale re-engage your abdomen extend your left leg out and your right arm make sure the lower back is stable the level of the hips is even let's return to the first side take an inhale on your exhale raise your right leg push your left shin into your yoga mat use your right arm to push yourself up and away from your mat and keep your core tight let's switch again take an inhale exhale engage your core draw your stomach in extend the left leg out push the right shin into your mat extend the right arm out push yourself away from the mat with your left arm and draw the navel in let's do this once more on each side exhale drawing the navel reach long and switch Take care keeping the lower back and the hips stable and don't let one hip go lower than the other now let's stretch with a child pose bring your knees apart push your hips back lengthen out your arms open up your hips your lower back your thoracic spine your shoulder girdle and gently sway your body side to side let's do this once more on each side 
And then we are going to take this into some hip circles. So shift your belly towards the left, bring the weight towards your hands, shift your belly to the right, push the weight back towards your right heel. Weight over to the left heel, left hand, right hand, right heel. Let's do this twice more and we change the direction. This will help mobilize your hips, your lumbar, thoracic spine. Let's go the other way. If some of your vertebrae have been stagnant in the same position and they are contributing to your sciatic pain, and then this way we can mobilize them and that will ease your sciatic pain, your lower back discomfort, hip discomfort. Very good. Okay, next lay down on your side, extend your bottom leg out and put your top foot on your calf, the instep of the foot on the calf. Lower your knee towards your yoga mat, be sure that your hips are stacked on top of each other, then raise that knee as high as you can, squeeze your glute muscles, keep your abdominals tight, keep a little bit of... Uh, a space underneath your waistline. Make sure that your ribcage is not dropping into your yoga mat. Instead, carve out your waistline a bit. Lower your knee again. Take an inhale. On your exhale, lift your knee. Squeeze your buttocks in the back. Open up the front of the hip. Lower the knee. And lift again. And try and bring that knee as high up towards the ceiling as you can. When you do this exercise, it's very important that you're stable on your side body. If you're wobbling back and forth, that's, um, that you need to stabilize your body some more. Be sure to plant yourself into your mat. Let's do this another three times. Oftentimes with sciatica, there's side to side hip instability. This exercise will help you with building strength in the side hip muscles. Let's do this one more time. And then put your foot behind you and bring your bottom leg forward. Flex that foot. Take a deep breath. Check in with your hips. Make sure that they are mainly stacked, meaning that this top hip is not dropping back. Bring it on top of the bottom hip and raise your bottom leg. Take a deep inhale. On your exhale, raise the bottom leg, hold it up for a second, lower it down slowly, inhale, exhale, flatten your abdomen, and raise your leg, and lower it down, and let's go for another four of these. When it comes to hip strength, we cannot overlook the importance of the hip adductor inner thigh muscles. When the adductors are strong, they help stabilize the pelvis. Very important muscles when it comes to <clears throat> beating sciatica pain. Let's lay down on our other side now. The bottom leg is straight. The instep of the top foot is resting on the calf. Make sure the hips are stacked, abdomen is flat, and you're ready to carve out your waistline a little bit. Lower your knee, inhale. Lift your knee, exhale, squeeze the glutes in the back, drawing the abdomen, lower the knee down, lift the knee up. Let's do eight repetitions of these. We are at three now. Lift, abdomen flat. There's a little bit of space in your waistline that will ensure that your deep lumbar stabilizers and your deep oblique muscles are working. And we have three more to go. A good external rotation in that hip, squeezing the glutes in the back will ensure that your hip extensors and your external hip rotators are working hard. They're getting stronger. They will help you with that sciatica pain. This was the last repetition. Put that foot behind the bottom leg. Bring the bottom leg forward. Flex your foot. Take an inhale. On your exhale, raise your leg. Try and lengthen through the heel. 
send energy from the groin all the way down through your heel engage the muscles in between flatten the abdomen make sure the lower back isn't arching it's not collapsing let's do four more repetitions And we have one more to go. Excellent. Now lay down on your back. Your knees will be bent. Relax your shoulders. Feet are parallel, hip distance apart. Find the neutral spine position for the lower back. Take an inhale in. On your exhale, keeping the neutral spine, drawing your abdomen. And raise your right leg into what I call a tabletop position. Take an inhale. On your exhale, raise your left leg into tabletop position. And lower your right leg. Lift the right leg. Lower the left leg. And alternate. One leg comes up while the other leg lowers. Make sure that you're holding a neutral spine position the whole time. You're keeping your lower back and your abdomen stable and engaged. Only move at the hip creases. Be sure the lower back and the hips are stable. Let's do one more on each side. Then place your feet down on the mat. Sway your knees side to side again. And then extend your left leg out on your mat. Hold on to the back of the right leg. Pull that leg towards your upper body for a quick hip and lower back release. And then let's change to the other side. And draw your knee in while you're lengthening the opposite hip, opposite leg. And let go. Come up to a seated position for a final stretch. Fold up your legs. Place your hand on your mat. Raise your arm over your head. Elongate your arm. Open up your side body. Open up the lower back and the hips. Then circle your arm around. Feel your ribcage move. Feel the neck and the head move, following the arm movement. One more time, then put both of your hands on your mat. Walk the hands out as far as you can. Open up your lower back, your shoulder girdle, and your hips. Come out of your stretch, repeat it on the second side. Change the legs. Place your hand down, arm over the head. Use the bottom arm to push yourself up and away from your yoga mat for a deeper stretch in the side body. Circle your arm around. Let your spine flow with the arm movement. Try and let go of rigidity. Let's do one more circle with the arm. And place both of your hands on your mat. Bring your chest as close to your mat as you can. Breathe into the lower back and into the mid back. And slowly return from your stretch. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Um, if you would like to work more on your sciatica and lower back pain, I have good news for you. I created a do-it-yourself online home program that you can access through my website visit www.painfreeforlifepilaris.com and click on the shop tab, um, choose the lower back and sciatica rehab program uh, from um, several 
uh, home programs that you find under the shop tab and uh, you will find more than 40 healing corrective exercises that will help you successfully beat your sciatica pain. Um, if you would like more personalized guidance and you would like to work with me, also visit my website and sign up for a free 15-minute phone consultation so we can get things moving. While on my website, make sure you sign up for my weekly newsletter as well so you get notified when new videos post on YouTube. And for more great video tips on how to eliminate chronic pain in the body and how to improve your strength, your flexibility and your mobility, check out my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me today.